Hello everybody, I'm the Hive King. Sorry about not saying anything for the first, like, 30 seconds, but there was something, uh, happening, so. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I'm the Hive King, and this, today I'm going to show you how to create some characters in Project Spark, and I'm actually pretty much going to wing it, because I honestly have no idea. Let's see what I've got. Let's try to inspire ourselves. Let's see... What we can make. We want to make some guns? Hmm? Want to make a gun? Let's, let's make an assault rifle. This gives us a pretty good base. You're going to want the brain in. So, yeah, you're going to want the brain in. So you can, uh, you know, play. You're going to want a character. Brain. Just put Brain Galari. Uh, third person adventure. Now, let's see. You want the gun to appear awesome. So, what do you do exactly? You gotta get things to attach it to make it look awesome. Now, you... I'm gonna start with a modern-ish kind of gun. So, this bullet shell... Properties, physics, uh, ca character, character is good. Um, this kind of bullet shell kind of looks like a scope. So this will be our scope. So first I'm going to put gridlock on. So it helps when aligning things sometimes. Other times it's really bad. But look, it kind of already aligned it over here, which is pretty good. So now, whoops, let me realign that. Uh, now I'm going to lower it. Maybe make it a little bigger so it kind of looks a little more scopey. And now, gonna just move it up about there. That's good. That's well, hold on. Eh, there we go. This is good. So now you're gonna make it properties appearance. Uh, you of course you want it to match up with the gun. So I'm gonna make it a darkish gray color. Second metal. This kind of adds the see see the lines on it. That's that's what it's doing. So let's kind of give it a nice shine. So maybe add a little blue, uh, like a bluish tint to it. Uh, maybe a little more blue. Uh, that's good. Give it a nice shine. Give it a nice shine to it. Now, um. Then you're going to, of course, want to attach it to the weapon itself. Now, let's see. Look, you don't want it... When you're making a, a character, you definitely don't want this happening. You really don't want this to go flashing. So to stop that, you're going to go Properties, Physics, and you're going to put it on Fixed. Just while you're uh, editing the gun. Because then it prevents uh, it from having that annoying uh, color thing. So now it's already a gun with a scope. So the uh, that's like we could stop there but I want to make it more assault rifle-y so let's let's customize. Now while you're scrolling through your stuff when you're doing something like I'm doing you have like right now I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to add to it. Like maybe I've got a few ideas of props to put, but I'm going to scroll through nice and slowly to see if anything catches my eye. This has caught my eye. This is way too big. Moment of shrinkage. There we go. Now I'll place you here. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and grab you again. Now you're going to want to align it, of course. The lookerage is a bit weird, though. There we go. Now you're going to want to align it. With the grid snap, it's good for connecting it. You want to make sure you turn off the grid snap when you want to get alignments that's kind of off the thing. Now let me just look at it for a moment, because now that I'm seeing it, it doesn't look so good. Uh, actually, uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, I just need to, gonna want to change how it looks, of course, because we really don't want it to, uh, 
look, we don't want to look like wood. So, gonna add, it's like it's back stock, kind of, so. It needs to be a little more to the right. Now the camera, for whatever reason, it's anchoring, like its position is all the way at the bottom. It anchors all the way at the bottom, so it looks kind of weird when you grab it. But that should be good. Now it has a nice, nice little back stock. But remember to always change the physics. Character. I put it on character. Sometimes, I don't know, uh, I once saw the Team Dakota guys uh, working on a weapon. And they put the thing, the weapon part on tumbling and it didn't make everything fly around. I wonder if they fixed that if it was an error in the game. So now, right now, it kind of has its nice little stock on the back. I, I'll move it a little bit because it uh, looks like it's a little too unattached, I guess you could say. Uh, let me see now. Uh, bup, 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 bup. That's not bad at all. I like that. Now, um, of course, you want it to have an extended piece, like a nozzle of some sort. I could add this, but I have something better in mind. Which came with the uh, Astro Minor Pack Thingamawatit as soon as I could find it. Boo -do 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 -do. Where did you go? I need you. Uh, bu -bu uh, wish, 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 wish. See, they have scopes and stocks here, so I could add that on the back of it if I want. But uh, I don't. That's not quite what I wanted, so. Oh wait, that that was it. The thing I the thing I wanted. Um, this. It will add a nice little extension to the front of the gun. Let me align it with the grid snap. Now, as you can see, it doesn't quite align perfectly, but I can get like the general connection I want. You kind of there we go. There, that's it's almost. I'm a perfectionist. Eh. Eh, eh. Ah, oh, it's going to be one of these things, isn't it? Is it? Eh, eh. There. There. There we go. Sorry, I was getting all crazy. I just really want to work out. Now, edit. Edit. Properties. Appearance. Now, you're going to, of course, want it to match up with the gray of the other gun. So, do that best you can. Uh, properties. Physics character um edit properties appearance i don't want that to be darker gray look at the other thing and here already you have an assault rifle pretty much i will save this assembly actually this i'll just um save it like this i assault rifle one. Okay, so that's what I'm going to save it as. I'm not going to keep it saved like this. I'm going to uh, do it the special saving I do, which I showed you uh, in another episode. But this is just because I'm kind of strapped for time this episode. Now, this is one assault rifle, okay? Not bad as far as assault rifles go. In fact, I'm actually pretty proud of it. But now, let's pretty much make the same thing uh... replace we're going to make the same thing but with those gun attachments now we're going to put the gun attachment on because that will probably look better i actually honestly didn't remember the the stock piece so i'm just going to try it now now let's see how it looks when you attach this piece to it instead. Let's kind of get it closer. Uh, there we go. Appearance. Make it nice, nice gray. Make this the darker gray so it matches with the look. And now I'm going to also change, uh, replace going to also change the scope so with the scope from the gun pack thingy the astro minor pack what's it 
because it could add a nice it can make it look nice and futuristic -y. uh laser rifle uh scope here we go so if i hold on let me and should, should it be this way or should no yeah this is the way it goes edit properties appearance you're going to hello hello hi twitch viewer hello hi what's up so you're going to want to make it uh i'll kind of make this white i guess maybe maybe a blue give it a kind of lensy look there we go now see both of these can be said to be assault rifles but with the different attachments look like extremely different like for extremely different purposes let me put it like this so you can see them next to each other this one looks like a more close range weapon this actually looks more like it would be a marksman rifle of some sort so let me actually save this as hold on when you use a multi-edit tool you want to make sure you grab the right stuff save assembly let me take a better screenshot of this once again, I will be saving this differently later on. This is just how I'm saving it now. And I'll save this as Assault Rifle. You can't see me typing this for some reason. Two. It's just the way Twitch works. that it, You can't see me when I'm typing it. So now that's saved as Assault Rifle 2. But you can see the difference between the attachments you put on. So when you're making a gun, you want to... This one looks... Hold on, let me test it out. Let's see how it looks while I'm holding it. I haven't tested that yet. The physics are so they're floating, but that's alright. See, look. It's got the, uh, the programming for the basic SMG, so it's going to have all the shells falling out. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Now you have this one. Same thing. But it, uh, I guess it has a a like a leader look to it if you know what I mean like it looks more professional I guess you can say uh, if you get my drift like for the guys who would be wielding it now let's try to this also uh, for you twitch viewer game uh, this also is using just the basic SMG base now you're going to take this you're going to really want to experiment properties First, let's say I want to add a different scope. Let us go swap mesh to all the possibilities of what could be a scope. Let's see, we could have we could have some rings floating if we wanted to, but those don't shrink very small, so that won't work too well. Um, so let's see what else. I'm thinking maybe this could be a scope if I do it right, but that might be it might not shrink down correctly. This a bottle. You think I'm insane? Correct though. That's probably because I am. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, okay. Got the bottle. Going to, oh boy, it unaligned. Okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. I can get it back. Going to take your bottle. Make sure the brain, it doesn't have a brain because you don't want it to mess up. You're going to then do this. Okay? I, get, I think you can tell where I'm going with this now. Going to attach it. Make it a little bigger. And going to make edit properties appearance. You're going to want it to be nice and dark because it's glass. You don't want it to be like, uh, you're not going to want the glass to actually look like glass. If you know what I mean? It's going to, to stay with this appearance, but that's fine. Now, yeah, you, you guys can see what I'm doing with the, the bottle now. You, you can, uh, you get the main idea. You always want to make sure you colored it the way it's uh, going to, you want it when you're going to duplicate it. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to grid snap so I can get a nice straight attachment at the end. And now, you see what I'm doing, right? See what I'm doing? Come on, you guys are smart. You can tell what I'm doing. Now, it's not, it doesn't look attached yet because it is, you know, technically really not attached. Now, uh, hold on, it's right here. Now you're going to want something to actually stick it to the gun, or it's going to look like it is some god weapon. And it is not. Now this isn't shrinking. That's the problem with some things on Project Spark. They don't shrink as small as you want them to, but it could still serve our purpose. Uh, as you can see here, the, it actually serves our purpose very nicely. Now you're going to do this. 
going to attach this new piece to the main weapon because that's that's the anchor point. Edit properties appearance. Going to make it nice and dark. Now you have a new type of scope. It looks more like a sniper, this one. And now let's test, see how this works out. So now you're going to pick it up. Now we've got three assault rifles. We've got this one with this scope, which kind of looks like a sniper scope. We've got this one with the, uh, this looks like an ACOG scope. We've got this one, which looks like it has the, uh, like a, a, kind of like also another type of sniper scope, which is good. This is what we're going for. We're, we want diversity in our weapons. Now, we're going to bup, 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 right up here, or up here-ish, eh, here. So now you've got three. You see it has the different stock. I could add the different stock here, but I don't want to save a whole assembly with it like that. I'm going to save this assembly. I'm going to save as uh, assault... I'll just do Assault 3 because uh, I don't want to keep riding Assault Rifle because I don't want to be up too late. Cause it's almost it's very close to being 10 in uh, New York, and I really don't want to stay up too late, so I'm just going to kind of uh, do a shorthand version of everything. Now, now we've got three weapons, three Assault Rifles, and it took us like 20 minutes to make them. Okay? That's not bad as far as Assault Rifles go. You've got three of them, but now... Let's let's kind of push the boundaries, I guess, and let's go for a full-on sniper. So we're going to take this. It, we can leave it with its stock at the bottom, but actually, I'm going to want it to... Plastic? It's plastic on this thing? Oh, yeah, that's the uh, tip. You can't see the tip because it's covered. Now, you're going to want it to... Metal B. Uh, is this the right metal? E probably not. Yeah, that's just that. Okay, you're going to want it. Make sure it's colored the way you want it. So this one, I don't want it so dark. I actually want it to look a little woodier, I guess. But it hmm, doesn't seem to actually be changing the color of this thing. Oh, poop on you. Okay, well, let's make a sniper. Okay, for a sniper, we want it more extended. So we're going to just take that. I could just add two of these, really. I could do this and make it a longer stock. So that's what I will do, because that, that seems like a good idea to me. I'm going to align it ever so, like put three pieces so it has a nice long look to it. So right now it's actually looking like another type of assault rifle. I don't want this bottom, see see where, let me delete this. See this, um, hold on, this little uh, like nook right in between here, we don't want that because that is not typical snipers to have a little space missing like that and once again I cannot align this properly there we go going to do this remove that stock now it actually looks like a different type of assault rifle now that's that's good actually now hmm this actually it just looks like a, another type of assault rifle it looks too awesome for me to pass up so save as Assault 4. See that? I stumbled upon greatness. That was kind of awesome. Awesome me! Now, going to, uh, with this uh, assault rifle, it doesn't look like a sniper because of these bottom stocks. We could probably still make it work, but I can tell that it's not going to look so good if we have it like that. So let me just kind of it kind of, I guess, looks a little like a sniper. Uh, so if you want to call it that, by all means, go ahead. But let's try to let's try to make it look a little better. A little less uh, thick, I guess you can say. Now let's see what we could attach to m make it look like a sniper. See, I, could, I might be able to add these. For, let me let me see the size of this. If I attach these to the front, uh, it's not so bad, but it's a little thick. So I'll just save that at the side in case I can't find anything else. So it's just a bit thick. Now, could add could add this if I really wanted to. Let me see for a moment. 
this might actually work nicely if I uh, shrink the this a little bit. If I attach it like this. Hmm. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. Hold on. First, you're going to clear the brain. Then you're going to... Physics, you're going to want fixed so it's not appearing like that so you can color it properly. Properly. Uh, appearance, you're going to want that. Uh, that. Uh, <laughs> blood. No. We're going to uh, remove that best we can. There we Appearance. And I guess this can just kind of be extra look, I guess. Uh, let's let's add a little color, I guess, and like a nice darkish red band there. Now it looks a bit funky, but it also looks good in my opinion. Now let's attach this. Wrong thing. Tool. Uh, attach this. No. You want to attach it. You always want to uh, attach them to the middle. It's very rare when you don't want to do that because what happens is if you don't attach it to the middle, when you make it enlarge, the some of the pieces won't enlarge if you don't do that. So now we have a sniper. Okay, so it could um this back piece can probably be exchanged for this stock. In fact, let me do that for this. I feel like it will look better. So I'll attach this to you. Edit. Remove you. Get your butt out of here. Now I'm going to attach this to the back right like so. There we go. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better actually. Now it's a little off. So I can I'll kind of align it a little better. And th that's good. So now we have a sniper. So now I will save this assembly as save as I'll just do snip one uh, so I save it quickly snip one there we go so now we have a sniper and now uh, the point of me showing you uh, these videos and how I make everything is so you can get inspiration for yourself I will probably be putting these on a uh, as their own game. Now, oh shoot, I just realized there's no way my guy is going to have access to all these if they're all up like this. Uh, let me just kind of align, whoops, align these differently. So you have a nice row of guns. Now these, these are good for a, uh, a Call of Duty style game if you want to make that. The reason why I left this here is because I want to attempt to attach these to it and see how this looks if I attach these. So edit properties appearance. Going to make it dark. Dark. Now edit properties physics. So just put it on character just in case. Now uh, you, uh, you want to attach it to this. Now we're going to align this very carefully. Grid snap is very good for doing something like this. In fact, this is... Oh, actually, it's not going to work here. This would, if it worked properly, it, this would have been an, a moment where you would want to use grid snap to uh, to attach things and as well as attach something like piece and then I stick one for, forward and then attach it to the piece behind it. That would be a good time to do that because it makes it a lot simpler to align things unless you can manage the other way. Now this also looks like a suppressor. So this first edit properties appearance. Let's make this fully black and now you have a suppressed gun. So I'm going to save this as this looks like a I'll just do suppressed one because the, since it's so short, I guess you can say it's an assault rifle, but it still kind of looks a little bit like an SMG. So, uh, I guess it's really kind of up to what you want to call it, I guess, this one. And now, since I've done that, now I will take this, I will recolor it. I'm going to uh, throw this in the group with these. And the gun that Conker brought, it re it's really good for um, edit 
property is appearance for making things like this because as you can see it's a good base now I'm going to align this best I can at the front for this second sniper going to want it as straight as possible now it's a little down but I don't know if I could get it any higher so I'm gonna keep it like this oh, whoops okay that was way too fast uh, all right going to do this there now it's another type of gun this one isn't so good it's okay but it's not so good for a sniper you can say it it, it can pass as a sniper so I'll save this as snip 2 uh, you know sniper 2 cuz it's it's good enough to say it's a sniper it's it could be better i guess but it's uh it's fine so now we're going to take you and we're going to throw you in the stash of all the other guns now let me spread these out a little bit so i can show you uh, uh me wielding them just so you can get an idea of how they look while somebody is holding them now I'll just kind of do this, put this here, move you over just a bit, let me grab you, and slide you here, let me slide you here. I, I'm actually, I, I really like this one actually. Now I'm going to test, I'm just going to pick up a few of them to show you how they look. Now let's let's try the uh, this one. This one looks like a good assault rifle. It actually looks I can't pin it down, but it actually looks like a real gun. Like uh um like uh one that that actually like a very specific gun. This one's okay. It's not the best, I, I guess. This one this one looks good if you can uh make it have a suppressed sound. This one's good. And the sniper. Let me grab this sniper. This, this, I like this sniper. I feel like this could really work as a sniper. Now, you're going to want, hello, hello, hi, new Twitch viewers. Uh, you're going to want to make more than just snipers and assault rifles, okay? Snipers, uh, nah, I'm not going to bother uh, organizing them right now. Um, first, now, you also want to have uh, like shotguns and things like that. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do to make a shotgun because I would pretty much have to build it from scratch. But what I can do is attempt to build a minigun of some sort. Now let's see. First for this minigun. Oh yeah, and as you can see, this is just the their gun. Which ha it has the scope attached to it, the stock attached to it, and this attached to it, but it's all attached as one thing. So I just want to show you that. Now, a minigun, for this minigun, I'm going to need a cartoon SMG. But here's the catch. Uh, you, you might want it invisible, depending on, I, I guess, no, no, I, I'm going to need it invisible, actually. So you're going to... Uh, edit properties physics fixed you're going to want to make sure it's not going to uh, do that annoying flash so you're going to do that now you want there you want it to look as much like a minigun as possible of course so first thing you have to do is add in like the the basic stuff that you're going that makes you wield it I guess like let's see I could put Let's see how this looks. Whoa. Um, not quite what I'm looking for. Maybe maybe I'll put that in, but maybe not. Most likely not. Now, <coughs> let's... um. Let's, oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This might be good. Now, this uh, needs to be a lot smaller. Now it's going to grid snap, roly poly, all the way around. This can be a good back piece for the minigun. Now let's do it about like this. Now 
if you play, you're of course not going to be able to see the SMG. But what I'm the reason why I'm attaching it so close to the SMG is because this is where the <coughs> the handle is going to be. So you want to make sure it looks as good as possible attached to the handle. Now I'm going to want to elaborate on the back of that a little bit so it doesn't look so small and something I can add is this whoa that is huge I'm going to add this but at a much smaller scale so small you can't even see it anymore <clears throat> now what this is going to do you're going to grid snap that you're going to rotate it around now this can be the nice front of, of the gun where going to have to shrink this a little bit. This can actually work as a scope if you wanted to put it there and do the, basically the same thing with uh, the bottles I did. Now, make it a little larger. This thing, it has a very fixed growth rate, so see it only goes 1% at a time. <coughs> so uh, this will be good to attach right about here, I suppose. Good stream. Keep it up. Thank you, Sniper Dude. That's very nice of you. Now, going to attach to here. Edit. Properties. Appearance. This is going to be a pain in the butt because I need to make all the colors different. Now I need to drag down all the colors to gray. I could just do the programming thing which says uh, like primary color or color uh, equals gray, but I don't want... Um, to do that because I want to see how it looks before the game starts because I want to just make it look as awesome as possible Let's change this one next to do that now you're going to edit properties appearance you're going to want it this darker as well now of course all gr guns aren't as gray as this is this is quite an exaggeration of the gray but it's um it's just the way I'm doing it right now. You're going to want a handle, which actually for a handle, believe it or not, this might be good. I'm going to do this. And hold on a moment. Um, Kind of like that. Now nah, you're going to want it straighter. Now you don't want it quite like this sticking out uh, so straight. Because first, let me attach this to the gun. This is going to be a pain in the butt doing otherwise. Now, also, something you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure you still have a place where you can attach it to the actual weapon you're doing. I can't attach it directly, so I'm going to have to attach it to this. I could always move this away and then attach it to the gun, but that uh, I'm just not going to do that right now. So, Edit, Properties, Appearance. So now, if this enlarges, it will not enlarge properly because the thing isn't attached to us every item is not attached to a single an anchoring point now sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't but you also want to be able to make sure you can actually grab the gun so you can move it around that's a big thing you want to do so see as I grow it the piece doesn't move properly so now I'm going to take you I'm going to attach you at a bit of an angle just a bit like this in the back so you have something to hold when you do it now let's test just for a moment just to see how it looks while you're holding it so for them this kind of looks like a blow dryer oh boy it's going to look better I promise you that right now it looks like a blow dryer but um gotta give me some time now um let's see we want it, since it's a, uh, a light machine gun, I, I think I was saying minigun before, but I can't, I meant light machine gun. Uh, you're going to want to extend the head of it so it doesn't look so small. Now, what is good to do that? I actually have something particular in mind for this one. We're going to go to the my very good friend, Mr... Barrel. Wooden barrel. Okay. Now, you're going to make him small. Him. I'm actually referring to it like this is a living thing. Now, rotate it so it goes 
well here now this can go s really small which this is perfect this is also another moment where you want oh hold on first first edit properties physics character now these things uh, barrels in particular can be attacked by themselves so combat you have to do uh, health and defense attackable off you don't want them to be breaking apart your machine gun so you're gonna have to do this edit properties appearance or your light machine gun now this is I'm gonna like this is good now this is a moment where you're going to want to do this you're going to want to take this this is how I'm going to attach it like kinda attach the pieces like this a bit I'm going to move the one to the right over a little bit so it looks a little better and I'm gonna move this one up a bit just a bit just a, I said just a bit me it's a little more than a bit okay I'm gonna delete you cuz I'm lazy I'm gonna put you like that there we go now you're going to attach this to him Yes, these are male. You're going to attach this to him. They told me themselves. Now you're going to take it, and as you see, it's moving as one unit. So now you can attach these to the front, like this, so it doesn't fall off. I uh, fall off, what am I saying? So it, it aligns properly. I don't even know why I said fall off. Um, so now you can attach them by three to the front instead of adding one line at a time which would be a pain in the butt. Now going to do this uh, just for a little bit and let me see. Let me see how it looks. Test. Now looking better. It's looking a little better. You're still going to want to uh, make it look a, a bit better now this I don't think this ever shrinks to the size I want it to nope got pretty close this time actually but um no that's not going to work I want separate rings around it to kind of look like it's holding the three barrel lines together so what I will do is I will add a coin because that's the closest thing First, brain. These have brains. You memorize some of these things as you go. So, you're going to want it... Oh, it doesn't go any smaller. Hmm. Forget the coin. That's a poop. Now, what else could we attach to make it look like it's being held together a bit? What is something that I could use? Hmm... I could use a gear, but that won't really give the right appearance. This probably won't shrink as small as I want it to. But if it does, that, that'd be amazing. Please be amazing. <gasps> Is it amazing? No, it's too big. Poop. Um, let me see. Poopity, poopity, poo. I was hoping that that would work well. Hmm. Time to improvise. ba da 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 ba ba da 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 Ba da 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 bump 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 ba da da. Hmm. There actually probably isn't anything I could really attach. Um. Oh. The, this is a bit desperate, but this might just work. Edit properties appearance. Going to make this actually a wider color. It's going to be gray. It's going to look a bit wider. Now, this has a brain in it, I believe, so going to dump the brain, edit, properties, physics, fix there, now I can see it properly. And now this, does it shrink? No, it doesn't shrink, but it can, uh, it can uh, align, well, if, let me rotate this, sorry, I'm a bit out of it. Um, if I do this, it could kind of work. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Let me just attach it for a moment see it. 
let me just see how it looks when I test. Uh, not quite, not quite. So I'll I'll dump these. Which this is what? Whoops! Please go back. Oh, phew. Gonna want to hold this. Delete these. Yeah. So I guess I can just keep it like that. In fact, I think I want to make this longer. After seeing it. Whoops. Oh poop. Oh poop. Oh poop. Oh poop. That's not what I meant to do. Um. Do this. Oh boy, this isn't going well at all. Um. I'm not grabbing the proper thing. That's a, another thing about Project Spark. Sometimes it's really hard to grab what you want. Which looks like I'm going to... Oh, wait. Please. Oh, phew. I got it. Okay. To attach this. Like so-ishness. Okay. I'm going to add another. I'm going to add another. Now this you're going to want first you're going to want it to have a little more to it in fact let me see this for a moment let me see when i super shrink it up little more uh hmm, it's a lot bigger than i thought let me see something this is kind of an experimentation actually the camera angle is a big butt okay so it's really hard to see properly how I want to see it. I was thinking I could add it like this, but that's way too big. Um, let's see. You, of course, want the magazine chamber where you're going to load up your nice bullet belt. I'll just add that in because it will make it look a lot better when I have it, which I will now conduct the friend of Mr. Barrel, and that is, of course... Mrs. or Miss, I guess, Crate. Miss Crate needs to shed a few pounds. There we go. You're looking slim, Miss Crate. Now, physics. Uh, actually, nope. Well, how do how do how do I edit properties? Combat. That that's what I do. Combat. Uh, health and defense attackable off. Okay, now edit properties appearance. Going to do it like that. That's good. Going to attach you to you. Going to edit this. This will looking mighty fat, but this is actually uh, how I want it. Going to attach this, and now to add a bit of uh, realism, I guess, to the machine gun. You're going to, of course, want the bullet shells that come out of it. Now, this is very fat, and I was hoping I could shrink it, but it doesn't look like that's possible. Edit properties appearance. Oh, actually, why, why on earth would I change the appearance of the bullet? It looks like a bullet. That's good. Um, attach it to you. And now this will... Attach it like right about here, I guess. Now this one will add the nice effect. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. First, I need to test the way the guy is going to hold it, because that will determine which side I want the uh, bullets to come out of. Oh, he holds it like this. I'm putting it on the right side, as in the correct side, and also the right side actually. The right side, correct side, same thing. Same thing. Now attach it to you. Attach it to you ish. Got it. There we go. Then do this. Then do this. Then do this. Now, already it's looking a lot better. I Maybe I should let it be visible. Now, why would it have two magazines? That makes absolutely no sense. Um, Yeah, I won't let it be visible, but I do want it to have another grip. So going to add this over here and going to hmm let me let me do this for a moment 
going to do it like this. And now we're going to rotate it around again. Then do this. So that has that nice little uh, under part to grab. There we go. And now let's test how this thing looks. I think it still needs some work, but this is actually at a point where if you didn't want to continue it, you could leave it like this. This, hmm, actually it doesn't look that bad. It ain't bad at all. And when it shoots, it looks like the bullets are coming out of the right side. So, I could, it probably could be programmed that as you shoot, the bullets at the side disappear. That's a uh, programming, and I am definitely no programmer. So, this is not bad for a minigun. Not bad at all. So now you have the assortment of many weapons that I've built. So you got this one, you got this one, you got this one, this one, this one. That, ah, you get the idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, edit. And now, you. I want to save this as an assembly. So I'm going to save as minigun. Because Mini Mouse wields it. Oh wait, this isn't a minigun. I keep saying minigun, but I'm going to save it as an LMG. Because Mini Mouse doesn't wield it. Little Master Guppy wields it. Hence LMG. That was so stupid. Now, um, just to be nice to all of you on Project Spark, I will. Uh, hold on. And grab you. Grab you. So I'm going to be ending this broadcast, but. Before I do that, I will be sit you down here. Do do I have a, a good assembly for these guys? I might have a good soldier assembly. Which will look a lot better wielding uh weapons. Let's see. I did make soldier assembly. Frontier soldier is a different thing. I did make soldier assemblies, but um I don't think I saved them. So, you want to wield them as Mike Wazowski? Nah. Wield them as a Teddy's. That'll be fun. Actually, no. I don't. I don't want it to be associated with Teddy's. I want it to be associated with people. So I'll just. I'll just leave this guy. And if I really want you to think of him as a soldier, I will just go ahead and put a military helmet on this guy. Wait, did I pass it? I can put a gas mask on him if I want to, but I don't want to, so no. I don't remember what the military helmet's called. If it's called military helmet, I'm going to be annoyed. Uh, ah, here we go. Military helmet. Teddy's military helmet. Okay, that is massive. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Little hat. No, I want it bigger. Eh, way too big hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? He's like, he's like one of those kids who just got given a hat by some guy, and then it becomes their dream to be whatever the guy who gave the hat was. There we go. That's him. That's your character. So now, let me test this just to see how this, how insane this guy looks. Yep, perfect. Is perfect, ready for World War II. Now, um, I will actually take a screenshot. All the weapons. I don't want that B appearing, so let me back up a little bit. Screenshot. Oh, uh, let me actually take it from this angle. Yeah, that looks better. And like this. And now I will resume. I'll actually go to edit. And now I will be ever so kind to save and share. Let me tag this a few things. Uh, adventure. Uh, m m m there's milit. I believe there's a military thing. Military. I guess it's related to metal. I don't think they need a heavy metal or something of the like. And weapon. That'd be good. You want to make sure you tag your games because this is how they find it. Those are the keywords that if people search for it, they'll get it. So 
let me just give this a description. There we go. Free weapons. Great description. I'm amazing. And now I'm going to save this as free guns. So this is for all of you who need some assault rifles. I'm going to save and share it. Uh, I'm going to upload it to Project Spark so you guys can see it. And now save, save and share, save, new. I have a bunch of other uh, games with characters I've made. So if you guys want to check those out, you can, you know, for your game. <clears throat> now, now you have a long array of weapons and these do not feel confined to the way the weapons are. So if you don't like the minigun, feel free, LMG, I keep calling it minigun, feel free to customize it, especially all these guns, almost all of them, have the this uh, for the back stock, yet this one has this one. So if you want to, just, you know, grab it from another one and just attach the back stock, customize them and make them unique, you know, recolor them. Don't just let them, like, you could, of course, use them the way they are as the colored, the the manner they are, but try to make them a little more unique because these uh, these guns are all gray, and in actuality, all the guns like that you see at in war aren't all this color gray. So bye everyone, thank you so much for watching. You can purchase t-shirts at daymeter.spreadshirt.com or books I've written at daymeter.wix.com/hive. I actually don't have to save because I already saved. Exit without saying. And you could also uh, ask to join the hive there, and you can see. All the Hive members games that I've played and other games from members who aren't the Hive uh, on my YouTube channel uh, called Hive King, capital Hive space, uh, capital K I N G. And yeah, you can see the full game. I actually played this game, The Vampire Hunter, by Henry Nasserus because he is a uh, Hive member. Now, this thing right here, I just want to show you this Battle Stations pack. This Battle Stations pack is where you get. The attachments that I use this the stock and uh, that's actually all I use uh, from, from this battle stations pack so of course all of you might not be able to use what I've made because you probably all don't have the right DLC because as you can see since I ever since I got this um this membership thingy from uh, I forget what it's called <coughs> from uh, it's Project Spark. It, it honestly, I recommend you buy it. It's absolutely phenomenal. It gets you so many DLC packs. I only own like three, and then I bought, I bought so many fr uh, from all the extra silver I've gotten. So, um, if you can't um, uh, customize it and save the assemblies, you save the assemblies the way I showed you in the game. That's how you save them and use them in your game. If you can't save them, just message me, and maybe I'll try to make a uh, free assembly uh thing with no dlc that you guys can use so bye everybody thank you for watching it was fun and i'll be making more guns maybe tomorrow maybe some characters because i i mainly make weapons and characters i don't program them because i have no idea how to program it. i'm a monkey when it comes to program so bye everyone